If you've been looking for high quality prints, Impix is the way to go. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Freddy Espinoza with Freestyle Living based out of Farmers of California. And today I'm gonna to be talking about Impix and their high quality prints. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I got a print here that I'm gonna go ahead and open to show you guys the quality and exactly how it comes in. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and open this. So first thing you do, obviously, be careful when opening it. Never wanna damage your picture. All right. And the good thing is Impix usually puts two cardboards. All right, so let's go ahead and open this. Yeah, and there we go. All right, let's move that off to the side. So as you can see, Impix is pretty good about locking in the image when they send it to you. Uh, they always put tapes on the sides, but that's okay because they have plastic here on the actual picture and it doesn't damage it anywhere. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my handy dandy scissors. Okay, and one more side, and there we go. And if we like, we could always pull off the tape too, which I'm going to do. So then that way when I give it to my client, there's no tape on it. Okay, and there we are. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over. All right, take this cardboard off. So as you can see, it's still nice and packaged. Still has a little bit of tape on there. So we're gonna go ahead and take off uh, this part here so then that way we could just open it up. Okay, just removing the tape, that way it don't get that stuck on the picture by accident. All right, so it looks like it's ready to come out. And the cool thing is, it slides right out. And they always put foam over the image part. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. And I'm gonna take off my print form on the back. And that looks good. Now hopefully the light's not ruining it. As you can see right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera back on me. All right, so as you guys can see, this one's the print right here. It looks really good, it's really high quality. And the image is exactly how I created it on, in Lightroom. So I'm really happy. And um, also, uh, this is like a thick cardboard that I printed on. It's a, I believe a foam mount board. And the quality is great. So you actually don't even need to put this in a frame for a quinceanera, it'll hold itself up. So all you can need is a stand and you can just have it like that. And there's no issues. I always provide these for my clients for their 16 by 20 prints when they go with my larger package. And I really like Impix because they always stay close to the colors that I created my content with. And they don't go too saturated. They're never too yellow. They're never just off colors. And that's why I really appreciate using them. They do cost a little bit extra, but in the end, they're definitely worth it. So I recommend you, uh, if you're a photographer looking for great prints, this is a great way to go. Hey you guys, so I wanted to go ahead and add this part because I noticed the picture looked a little blue from the color grading on the video, but this is the original image and this is exactly how it looked like on the picture print. So I just wanted to go ahead and clarify that for you guys, just in case if you were wondering if it looked too saturated or too blue in the video. Thanks, and let's keep watching. But go ahead and leave a comment down below what print shop do you like using for high quality prints. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and you can always follow me on Instagram with freestyle living underscore photography. But like always, I like to leave you guys with the scripture, so let's go ahead and jump into the Bible. Hebrews chapter eight. Christ is our high priest. Here is the main point. We have a high priest who sat down in the place of honor beside the throne of the majestic God in heaven. There he ministers in the heavenly tabernacle, the true place of worship that was built by the Lord and not by human hands. And since every high priest is required to offer gifts and sacrifice, our high priest must make an offering too. If he were here on earth, he would not even be a priest, since there already are priests who offer the gifts required by the law. They serve in a system of worship that is only a copy, a shadow of the real one in heaven. 
For when Moses was getting ready to build the tabernacle, God gave him this warning. Be sure that you make everything according to the pattern I have shown you here on the mountain. But now Jesus, our high priest, has been given a ministry that is far superior to the old priesthood. For he is the one who mediates for us a far better covenant with God based on better promises. If the first covenant had been faultless, there would have been no need for a second covenant to replace it. But when God found fault with the people, he said, The day is coming, says the Lord, when I will make new covenant with the people of Israel and Judea. This covenant will not be like the one I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Egypt. They did not remain faithful to my covenant, so I turned my back on them, says the Lord. But this is the new covenant I will make with the people of Israel. On this day, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their minds, and I will write them on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people. And they will not need to teach their neighbors, nor will they need to teach their relatives, saying, You should know the Lord. For everyone from the least to the greatest will know me already, and I will forgive their wickedness, and I will never again remember their sins. When God speaks of a new covenant, it means he has made the first one obsolete. It is now out of date and will soon disappear. Thank you guys. Stay blessed. Don't stress. Don't worry about the steps. Have faith in Jesus. Peace.